Alrighty. Hey, Pussy friends. Welcome back to another new video. Today, as y'all can see, we have a sponsor. Yeah, literally, like, I'm so super excited because, like, this company, Evage, Evage, I probably pronounced it incorrectly, but they sent me a really, really fun propagation station for me to unbox to y'all to set up. And y'all already know how last, the recent video that I posted, we were propagating some plants and they reached out and I was like, oh my God, yes, like, let's do my cutting. I'm so excited. Cause like, there's my plants. And I think this will be like super, super cute for the balcony. Possibly not because it will dry out very, very fast. In the restroom or like maybe in the kitchen or in the living room or in the plant room. We're gonna find out where we're gonna go and set up and propagate some plants it's literally so cute from what i saw on amazon they're also giving it 30 percent discounts i don't know the code yet but i will have it in the comments section below if you're out to use that code um i am not getting paid over that okay it's just for a discount they're super super generous to give you guys 30 percent off um but i am getting paid you know to unbox this i gotta say that usually people don't say that but like i like to be very transparent and y'all already know in my channel i'm very real and very raw legally i can't there's some things that i can't say but i was like ah! okay so here's a little box Oh my god, I'm so glad. <laughs> okay, yes, I'm still using like a knife. I'm a big boy, I can do it. And there's nobody around me, oh god. Um, if y'all know any like really cute box cutters that have like anyone set out, like a little plant theme on it, let me know. Like, I'll so buy that. And I'll wait for my chest before I start using those comments. I'm like, so excited. We're gonna open this together. Uh, a box in a box. <laughs> we love that. It's literally what like us Mexicans do when it was like an expensive gift like we put a box under um another box to like surprise a person i guess i'm like filming in my co in my couch because like the lighting is like bomb in the living room as y'all can see and the studio lights that i bought were like super duper bad but oh my god look look fine recycle um okay let's see if we can open it um Okay, I think it's over here. So on the very top, let me open this. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Y'all know that I love propagating stuff. I'm like, I think you can propagate like, I think 12 things. I'm not that sure. The laundry is ready. Is it thing over here? Oh my god. <laughs> and there was a fungus that went across the screen. Ah! Yeah. Ooh, and it comes with a little cleaning thing. Okay, girl. Very, another company that I was gonna work with for propagations, they did not give a little cleaning thing. Great, because like when I was cleaning um, the other companies' was, like propagation things from like last year, they didn't have this and it's really, really difficult to get in the glass. And like, it's a lot deeper than this. Like, this is pretty shallow, which is still really, really great. Um, there's so many, we're gonna make so many plants. Like, are y'all oh, excited? If you're not following me on Instagram, you should, cause like I give you guys a lot of updates over there. And then in the box, todavía, it's the wood thing, which is so good and cute. So my style, wood tones and everything, girl. Okay. Oh my god, get the pound. Okay, I was about to say, like, what is that? Stop, like yo. Even if it wasn't a sponsor, like this is something that I would buy on Amazon very like my style like you know brown tones and everything girl and then like glass for like oh my god. <laughs> okay okay i'm gonna go set it up in a bit but i do want to show y'all the wire uh, or the twine how the glass looks now i'm gonna put it in here very well packaged let's get in here oh my god very, very cute the little lip on the glass we love y'all. I'm really excited. <laughs> it's gonna be so cute. Okay, so there is, oh my God. Well, okay, there's five in each piece of wood. Five, 10, 15 propagations that we're gonna do. 15 new plants. Um, usually you can put like just one like node cutting or like a vine, which I will show you guys how that works. I like to do node cuttings because you can get more out of your book, more out of your plants which is what I like to do. I like to be very efficient and on the kind of good jazzy stuff. So, I also have some really, really fun spider plants that I would love to place in here. It's gonna be so good them cute. And um, I'm gonna go and open all of these up and then find a spot and we can walk around the park fans, take some cuttings and place some little propagation stations. Oh my God, they're like so freaking cute. Here's like a little size, like this is my thumb. It's a pretty decent size. It's not too big, it's not too small. And oh, 
it's the small things for me like i don't know why they didn't do this other company like this is so smart like we need to oh god we need to clean this love you cochino love you nasty um i was like that ah! okay let's go <laughs> let me go open these and then i'll see you guys in a bit ah! okay as i was opening it there's like this one which is not a glass i'm not sure what it is and i think it's for like the um and they thought about that too um oh my god oh my god this is for the wall so like basically you see that it has like a little hook and the things stuff para acá and the little points and stuff in the back this fungus nuts man i swear to god <laughs> and like um you put it against the wall this is the wall you put it behind you hit this and it's already like that's so that's brilliant i've never i've never seen this maybe you have girl but i have not very and it, it's a very very affordable and like at the same time they give you guys a 30 percent discount i'm just saying girl okay i'm pretty sure everything else is glass okay i'll see you guys in a bit i just want to show you because like that's pretty cool so that's gonna be nice yeah. all right so i already went ahead and opened all of the packaging and i noticed that it didn't have a little hammer so we're gonna go ahead and improvise and i'm gonna show show you i'm gonna go ahead and place that so i decided to place it over here this is the kitchen and um i think it looks super duper cute right there girl what do y'all think yeah so let's get to it all right y'all so i know that you see a little easter decor i literally took all the decor away but i still have this one because if you follow me on instagram you would know that um i kind of damaged the wall <laughs> i was moving this god of them glass thing and i messed it up so um as of now she's still gonna stay there until i can find something really really cute something of summer maybe i gotta go to like a store and figure it out because like it was that also, I don't have a little tiny hammer. I don't know why I need like a little tiny hammer or like something to hit on. So I said I'm gonna use a little lemon squeezer. I'm gonna wash it, but um, I think it's pretty hard. Back then I used a candle and it broke one time. So, yeah. Okay. Um, now the trick is, I'm gonna do it as even as I can. I mean, I gotta do it as even as I can. I think over here is a good spot. And then that's right there, a little bit higher. And then we're gonna hit it. Let's hope that this works. Oh my god, it's loud. I have neighbors. Uh, oh my god. It's too loud. It's too loud. Okay. I live in apartments. We're not gonna use these. Um, what I'm gonna use, to be honest, I'm gonna improvise. I'm gonna go and use hooks that I have. So I feel like that's, that's like really good, but it's kind of cute. We're gonna use this. It's from Walmart because I do not want to make too much noise for my neighbors. <laughs> you guys, I want to get an apartment, I mean a, a home so good than bad. Our release is gonna end like in seven months, so like I need to like figure it out and find a place to call our new home. Okay, she's right in there. This can go maybe in there. Is that even even? Hold on. Girl. Hold on. <laughs> ah. I don't like you can use tape, but I don't have any tape. And now we're gonna go place a little propagation. Usually you're supposed to put it with water and then you place it, so um yeah, there's some water. I'll fill it up with my little watering can. Let's go place these guys. I'm gonna go and get some my little watering can and fill them up with water. Alrighty. Get my little watering can i literally hate it so much like it's nice to like get in places and like it's very accurate oh that is so freaking cute but um if, if you have a lot of plants it's just it's not gonna work out it's not okay i'm gonna do a, a little time lapse for y'all so i'll see you guys in a bit Yay. 
I know I could have just like gotten it and like you know um what do you call it fill them up one by one, by one in the sink it would be a lot faster but um, you know that I'm extra I'm extra now let's get some cuttings so we can play some little propagations um let me get my scissors and a container I couldn't find my actual scissors so we're going to use some hair clip scissors <laughs> um Don't judge me, okay? Okay, um, what else are we gonna chop? My hands can do this one, but I mean, I guess I will. So by nose, so people usually just get into her vine right and then you just place it in water what i like to do is by leaves each leaf has like oh my god a node which can develop roots even this little guy which doesn't have a leaf you can see like the air roots very very tiny but i'm going ahead and chop it up my nose i believe it's called horsehead philodendron can y'all see that and it has some nice looking places where i can go ahead and cut I want to probably get some golden potos, and like honestly, my golden potos is super duper thirsty, as y'all can see right there. And what, is, what happens is it gets super duper bald on top, and for me to fix that, see, it starts developing yellow leaves, and you start picking them out, and then it starts looking a little bit empty on top. So what I do is um, I propagate it, and instead of the, it's gonna promote more growth on top, so it stays nice and lush, even though you have it for like a year which usually they get bald on top. Because my neon potos, same thing as well. People ask me how I have it so lush and full. I literally just like propagate it a lot and it flushes a lot of growth on top. So we're gonna take some cuttings from here. And I actually have a long cutting and the plant room that I just, I don't even know, I guess it broke off by accident. I'm gonna go propagate it as well. I love neon potos, so I'm gonna make a lot of cuttings of these because they're just my favorites. And Here's a little example by what I mean about propagating nodes. You can make a fuller plant and you, you make a lot more. This could have just been one vine, one plant, but I chopped it up by nodes and now it's nice and lush and full, giving it more light, fertilizer, and time. It will become like that. So that's really fun. And then I'll take more cuttings out of it. This vine looks really good like if i cut it, it's gonna look really really bald and i want to keep it nice and full in that little section at the ver this one over here is super duper tiny and i want it to develop more vines so what i'm gonna do is chop it and it looks small now but it will develop more vines down the line all right that was weird the phone just crashed now here's my monstera sotipicana as y'all can see it's really weird i literally hate this plant so much I do not like it, um, but I still have it, so. Let me take some cuttings from that as well. Here too. I'm gonna propagate some of my lemon, oh my god, I'm sorry. Ah, I almost dropped you. <laughs> take some cuttings from my lemon philodendron, which is this beautiful thing. And I've never propagated this plant in water, so we're gonna go and find out what happens. Okay. So I'm gonna propagate my Tritis Gentii. She's so, so beautiful. And these are really easy to propagate. Like, I noticed a lot of Tritis Gentii propagate very easily. Beautiful. Also gonna go and chop my Mostara Peru. Should we go outside and see what I can propagate? Okay, let's go. Ooh. Okay. Um, here's a Monjulu. Nicolidium that I just got. <gasps> a potos and jewelry would be fun. Oh, so honestly, I'm gonna take a cutting. Alrighty, so here's Valentino. Also, my phone's giving me a lot of problems, so I'm gonna just go ahead and here's all the vines. We're gonna go and chop by nodes off camera. I'm also gonna get a few from the balcony, and then I'm gonna go show you guys. So I'm gonna go and place them and the little propagation station and here's some more cuttings yeah for the 
lemon philodendron, I decided to go ahead and chop it up. You're gonna see it in a bit. So we're gonna get a little bit closer. Um, even though it's like a lot of little stations for propagations, it's a lot. <laughs> Already gonna mix this mini monstera or monstera. Um, oh my god, I forgot the word for the word to superma. And then with the horse philodendron, you can see the reflection. Hey! <laughs> the horse, um, horse head philodendron. Gonna combine them both together. I'm gonna place it, I think, in the middle. No, on the sides. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see what it, how it is. How I feel about it. I'm gonna go propagate some global greens, chop them up by nodes, and I might place this way. It's way too big. Oh, cute. Cute! <laughs> have one more space. Of course, I had to go ahead and propagate some Monstera. Alrighty, well that was a mess, but it looks really cute. I, I love the way it looks. It gets more life in the kitchen. And I ended up placing golden potos, Tradescantiae, Brazil, more golden potos, better plants, um, silver sword philodendron with a global green, lemon lime philodendron, spider plant, Tradescantiae, another horse head, more golden potos, lemon lime philodendron, and then global greens, Monstera Peru another horse head philodendron, and another lemon lime philodendron. And all of these 15 propagation containers or little stations. It's so freaking cute. I love it so much. We'll give you guys some updates. I think it looks really, really cute. And I like it. I, I, I really, really do. It's gonna look super fun looking at the roots develop. And yeah. Alrighty. Thank you so much for to this new sponsor for sponsoring to this new video. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I love you guys so freaking much. The code will be in the comment section below. I have it pinned for the 30% off. Go check it out. It's on Amazon and here's Valentina. Hey baby. Let's get going. Chill with this. Oh my god. Eat up, babe. Go. You don't wanna talk? Alrighty, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!